don't put Bosch coil packs in the Toyotas. For whatever reason, Toyotas love to eat Bosch coil packs. We're on this Toyota Camry 2.4 liter inline four cylinder. Got the coil packs right here. This vehicle has 190,000 miles on it. And what's happening with it is that idle after it gets warmed up, you know, an hour of driving, it uh, parks and you put it in park, but this engine's running. It actually stumbles. It like shimmies and shakes almost. And uh, the coil packs have never been changed. These are original coil packs. So bought, uh, bought brand new coil packs. There is no codes in the vehicle, so that's kind of funny. But I have seen uh, coil packs that fail, and uh, no, coal, no code is thrown. When you order coil packs, make sure you order the right ones on these specific vehicles. Some are made in Japan, some are made in America, and the ones made in Japan actually take a different coil pack. They're actually shorter than the ones that were made in America, so just make note of that. I'll put links down in the description to, below to both of them. I'll put links down in the description below. I'll put links down in the description below to both of them, just depending on. Uh, on what you guys are working on but if you easiest way to tell is look at the first letter of the VIN number letter J is the first letter so this vehicle is made in Japan just pushing down on the clip same time pushing that way and when you reinstall these make sure that the uh, connectors actually click onto the coil packs you don't want to do this job and then have a misfire when you put everything back together Now the easiest way to get coil packs free and clear is go ahead, give a little twist, break that seal loose, and pull directly up. Toyota Denso, so these are original. All right, so looking from the top, you'd think these coil packs were the same, right? Connect, or the bolt goes in the same, connectors line up the same, but when you look at the length, not the same. So this one with the red tape, is one for an American made Camry. The one on the right is one made for a Japanese manufactured Camry. So like I said, just make note of that. And always, always, always go with a good quality coil pack. Denso's the best, Hitachi is a good one. Um, don't put Bosch coil packs in the Toyotas. For whatever reason, Toyotas love to eat Bosch coil packs. Try to stay away from, like I've not had good luck with uh, O'Reilly Auto Parts coil packs in Toyotas. They last a couple thousand miles and then they fail. Toyota likes to eat coil packs that are non-Denso. Got four brand new Denso coil packs. Let's see, the part number is 6731307 for the Japanese models. Let's take a look at one of them real quick. Make sure they line up. They are exactly the same, so awesome. Before I install them, I'm put a little bit of dielectric grease in the top of them and then reinstall them down in the holes. Uh, I did the spark plugs not too long ago on this vehicle, so I'm not going to do the spark plugs, but it's also a good idea if you haven't done the spark plugs in a long time, go ahead, pull those out, put new ones in, um, NGKs or Denso, and then uh, I'll put links down the description below as well for the spark plugs if you guys want to do that, but this job is not hard at all, so let me show you the uh, dielectric grease. So I love this 3M silicone paste dielectric grease. This stuff works awesome. I'll just put a little dab at the very top. It helps the... Uh, it helps for the coil pack not to stick to the porcelain on the spark plug down the hole when it's time to change them out. So just put a little bit of that inside there, stick them back in, plug or put the bolts back in, put the connectors back in, and you're good to go. So uh, just note, like I said, just note uh, which coil pack you're ordering before, uh, before you order them, depending on which kind of vehicle you're working on, whether that be an American-made one or a Japanese-made Toyota. So there you go, guys. If this has helped you save money, Please subscribe to Bunny's Garage, and I will talk to you guys later.